Hello everyone, it's Cubastic and I usually show you and talk about all kinds of puzzles. And when it comes to puzzles, uh, this doesn't always mean that it has to be difficult. Like, uh, for example, uh, this Rubik's Bear Jared, a really simple puzzle. It is uh, the simplest uh, 2 by 3 by one cuboid. It can be scrambled, it can be sold, but most of all, it can gather your likes. Therefore, especially for Jared, like the video and let's start. So, as I said, today you will see a simple, but I assure you, an amazing puzzle. It is made on the basis of an ordinary Rubik's Cube 2x2. This is the simplest cube where there are only two layers, four elements on each side, and such a thing is solved in a few seconds. Professionals can do this in less than a second. Let's try to solve it right now. Hmm, how long does it take for me to solve this puzzle? Hope you are checking the time out there. I was in no hurry, but in general, as you can see, this is done quickly enough. And uh, if you carefully check the videos on my channel, you probably already noticed uh, the similar cubes uh, such as 2x2x1 and 2x2x3. These are cuboids. Let me remind you that a Rubik's Cube with an unequal number of layers on each side is called cuboids. Naturally, this cube is simple, this one is a little more complicated, but what if you take a 2x2 Rubik's Cube and thus uh, stretch it to a huge number of layers? Like adding 3 layers or more. And uh, some of the manufacturers actually did it. Attention guys, I have a real 2x2x7 cube on the table. Let's unpack it and see what it looks like. Today I want to turn it, today I want to see how it works. God, well, it certainly looks great. I want to take a closer look at it, uh, scramble and uh, try to solve it. I don't know how I can do it, it doesn't turn really well. Of course, uh, for cubes of such a complex shape, such an incredible structure, this is absolutely normal. Just look at it! Wow! It seems to me that it is enough just to look at it and it surprises you so much. Let's call it a tower cube and for sure it will be the tallest tower cube that I have ever seen on YouTube. Because of uh, 7 layers. I have never seen anything like this. This is a unique puzzle that I purchased at the cubicle.com puzzle store. A few days ago the package came to me and it was in this package. Only at the cubicle website you will get the best puzzles, the fastest delivery, excellent quality and the greatest variety of all puzzles. You can find there the latest innovative smart cubes, WC puzzles and Rubik's cubes of all kinds. I recommend you to check the website in order to at least uh, see what kind of puzzles exist in the world nowadays. Check the link in the description and use my special promo code CUBASTIC to get a discount. Let's, uh, um, I don't know, let's try to turn it, yeah? I already understand uh, these uh, layers on the 2x2x7 cube. Well, uh, this layer, uh, the upper one, uh, it turns uh, easier, free, it is uh, loose. The next layer is tighter, it doesn't turn really well. You feel that uh, the details are clinging to something somewhere. And here, uh, and here, well, it's just ordinary. This is our middle layer. Wow, you can even turn it like that. And then, as I understand it, everything is mirrored. This layer in general turns normally. This one is completely slack and here it is so-so. Listen, if you look this way, it seems uh, that uh, there are three puzzles. Oh, uh, four puzzles uh, just laying together. Three Rubik's Cubes 2x2 two two, and one Rubik's Cube 2x2x1. Two two <laughs> Listen, it's funny! Let's do this. You know, uh, it looks like uh, these logic games, uh, like how many cubes do you see? Uh, count how many puzzles uh, can fit in uh, this space. Ok, let's try to turn it. But uh, not as we used to in layers, uh, but uh, right in the middle. It should turn like this too. Oh, yes, look how cool it turns! I love it! Yeah, we can also change yellow and white with each other. Look! God, it's fully functional! To be honest, when I bought it, I didn't even think that uh, it would be fully functional. I thought uh, this would be one of the simplest puzzles where only uh, these uh, layers uh, can be solved. 
How does it work? In the center, if you see here between the elements, you can see a bolt with the help of which uh, this Rubik's Cube is adjusted. If we unscrew this bolt, we will see two holes. And here, in fact, uh, what they consist of. The top corner, this layer, consists of long elements uh, that go all the way to the center. Right here. And this is clearly visible here, right? These two elements uh, have uh, such legs over here. And these layers, uh, the other ones, are just uh, two separate elements uh, that are located here and revolve around uh, this uh, central axis, both in uh, this layer and in the next, third layer. This layer is a central one, exactly the same as uh, the central layer in the smaller cube. Well, Jared, what do you think? Should we scramble it? Let's see what subscribers and viewers want. If they like the video, then I will definitely try to solve it. Well, did you like it there or not? Okay, I really hope we did it, because I'm already starting to scramble this thing, and to be honest, I'm a bit scared. So, Jared, uh, check it out, and I'll scramble it. God, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. It's just uh, that uh, while I turn these uh, layers, nothing changes now. Whoa, that's it. There's no turning back. <laughs> just look at it. Damn, although uh, there are few elements, only four in each layer, it already looks really difficult. The scariest part is uh, that I have no idea how to solve it, and I don't know if it is somehow different from the usual 2x2 cube or not. Okay, by good tradition, uh, we will use the timer. Write your guess in the comments right now, how long do you think it will take me to solve the Rubik's Cube 2 by 2 by 7 And I really hope that one of you can guess. I have no idea, honestly, no idea. Jared, hold the phone. Are you comfortable there? I hope you can see everything. Well, the countdown has started, let's go. I solved uh, the first layer, it wasn't difficult. So now our task is to do what? To solve the second layer. This will be more difficult than I thought. There is, and I am now magically moving this block here. One, two, three, and I'm going to... Wow! Ha! Huh, I'm doing well! Look, the middle layer is salt. Is this puzzle really as simple as I thought it would be? Let's see further. So, green, orange... I need blue-red and blue-orange here, right? Hmm, and now it is more difficult. Further, it won't be so easy. It is difficult uh, to keep uh, what you have already sold. Yeah, it is difficult for me to keep this uh, central three. Okay, let's try. There is! Haha, <laughs> great! Okay, something happened. We solved another layer. There are three layers left. One here and these are here. But how to change all that? I still have no idea. Well, it's interesting. Much more interesting than it seemed at the beginning. Okay, let's go. So, I'm getting closer to something. But to what? I cannot understand yet. How to move uh, these uh, two? Mm. Folks, Cubastic now is also in Spanish. Subscribe.
Oh, whoa, whoa. Here it is. So let's go. By the way, folks, subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, because in one of the next videos I will compare 5 coolest Rubik's Cubes and together we'll find the perfect Rubik's Cube to set the world record. So don't miss out. Hmm, I have reached almost uh, the very end in the last two layers. My task now is to swap uh, these two places. I don't understand how to do it yet, but now we will get it. Let's think together. If we think logically, how do I swap them? So... Was it right? Yes, good. We have one layer, this one remains. But how can I swap it? I have no idea. How to do it? I've completely solved this layer and have no idea what to do with this one. Really? Okay, come on, uh, let's do the following. So, am I close? No, not close. I need to change something, but what should I change? So, oh, it looks to be right. Hmm, I still made it right. There are such uh, complex uh, situations uh, called parity, and it is difficult to determine them and get out of them when you don't know the required algorithm. In this case, I did it, but I still have one more parity. This is an unstandard situation and I have no idea how can I swap these two elements. I will try to do it in different ways, uh, let's see which one helps. I really hope that at least uh, some of my knowledge uh, will be handy. And, and, <sighs> yes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five layers are completely done. There are two left. God, 32 minutes. Jared, help me, please. Foo. <laughs> you know, while I'm solving the last layer, I will really say uh, that... Uh, this is one of the most tricky puzzles that I've ever solved. Although I call many of those puzzles uh, that I solved difficult, it is really difficult in a special way, right? Just because uh, it looks simple, absolutely easy. But when you start solving it, when you have it completely scrambled, you just go crazy. And using only those algorithms uh, that you know, it cannot be solved. In uh, such cases you need to think up uh, something special, which in fact uh, I'm doing right now. And I think I have one last move left. I remind you that this video is sponsored by the cubicle.com store. Boom! Ha! <laughs> 33 minutes, Jared, thanks for your help. The cube is completed, the cube is sold from all sides in 33 minutes. I accelerated the solving as quickly as possible, so in order not to make this video to be a long one. But believe me, all 33 minutes I suffered tremendously. Therefore, I think that uh, this video and this solving is worthy of your comment, your like and subscription to the channel. Because uh, here I only talk about interesting, cool and unusual puzzles, and I also do incredible things with them. As today, for example, I sold Rubik's Cube 2 by 2 by 7. Thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. See you soon on my channel. That was Cubastic. Bye everyone and have a good time.